welcome back to another trend forecasting what I got right what I got wrong video this is actually my fourth year doing this video and as you can probably tell I was not going to do it and I usually do this end of December or very first week of January yeah I have my thoughts on fashion right now and it's not very nice thoughts <laughs> let's go ahead and get started on this video I have my laptop pulled up my video oh my god I'm gonna cringe so hard it's so funny how like even in a year I mean I feel like I've changed but <laughs> I'm the same corny ass bitch Welcome back to another trend forecasting video I'm gonna be sharing my fashion forecast for 2022 I can't believe this is my fourth year I tend to get things right a lot of the time I mean, that not too. to be I mean, anything, but no, I'm not just a lot of stuff that's stemming from last year. I think it's going to continue only because we're still in this pandemic. I feel like 2022 things are obviously not back to normal, but the lift of the face masks and all of that is definitely makes us feel a bit more normal. And more people are working like hybrid or they already went back to work. So we're kind of like jumping back into the way life was in a sense. I feel like 2022 is kind of like the trickle into, okay, let's like pull ourselves together, which is complete chaos. <laughs> I definitely talked about this anything goes, mixing of prints and patterns. Like so complete chaos, unexpected pairings, sharp contrast, Y2K meets fat TikTok fashion, a lot of DIY. I feel like this is very much true. I mean, I feel like you can just kind of see like TikTok styling and I do feel like TikTok is very chaotic. I feel like to grab people's attention in 0.1 second, it needs to be a little bit out there, a little bit different, things that you wouldn't really see. And of course, like the Y2K reemergence over the past couple of years. Obviously, Y2K was very chaotic. Yeah, obviously Y2K. Thing. The comeback of the cargo pant in a capri. So I feel like I got this half right. Like definitely cargos were freaking everywhere. Maxi skirt, the cargo mini, the cargo pant. None of the cropped ones though. So I kind of got that wrong as far as the crop. Maybe we'll see it this year. Definitely cargos in general were everywhere. Dresses over pants. I mean, I definitely saw more influencers kind of dressing like this, but not really the mainstream yet. So I feel like maybe this year we're gonna be seeing more of that. Shirts are longer or it'll be like a really mini dress that can kind of, that was what I'm kind of talking about here. Basically that silhouette. I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of this kind of like DIY spirit. Definitely more DIY, especially in denim for 2023. I should save it for the 2023 trends, but. And when I got it, it was like all in pieces. And I'm like, oh, okay, so I have to like figure out how to put this on. And I've been seeing a lot of tops like this. So I think this kind of layering, what are they called? I wish I had like the technical term for it. Subversive basics. Thank you, Beep World. And graphic tees are gonna come in heavy. Very ironic sayings. Definitely like ironic kind of sayings like Kylie Bieber, Nepo Baby. Green clan, so go in green not just the color because obviously the color is going to continue very strong but i think like sustainability i think going back to nature as i've been talking about i don't know why recently i feel like there's actually been downfall in being sustainable like i don't know let me know if i seem so out of line i've never seen more zara hauls in my life like i have on like tiktok it's always been around and i just feel like in 2022 it just like exploded and everyone was like share the ref like i've never seen people like sharing reference codes for zara like the reselling model is bigger than ever i do think that like thrifting and like all of the depops and poshmarks like i still do think that those are amazing i mean i think all of this is just kind of like like yes i got it right but like it's just something that we have been seeing for the past couple years. Like I mentioned with this green cleanse, we're looking for colors that are very soothing, comforting. I can't even recall like green being that memorable. What I feel like was super memorable and I think it's kind of funny because it's the color of 2023 is like a hot magenta. Like I think Valentino pink, like that bright magenta pink. I feel like that was really popular last year but it's the color of the year this year like i don't know what's going on but you let me know if you felt like green was kind of the color but like it was in 2021 so i can't 
tell if I'm blurring the two years together. I'm like, what even happened last year? <laughs> Decadence. <laughs> digital, 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 get down on me. In sync reference. I definitely feel like it has like a grungy appeal to it. I'm not sure if I was like, I'm gonna say that I was like kind of wrong on this. I mean, there's some things that I guess could have like fall on this. Like we did see a lot of chrome. I'm just gonna say that I got this one kind of wrong. Even though I hate being wrong. Maybe I was early. I always say that. Whenever I get something wrong, I'm like, maybe I was early. But it's because it's, I don't know. I feel like my predictions are always like about like two years. And I do feel like a lot of Scaparelli stuff feels like in this realm. And I feel like Scaparelli was kind of the most celebrated designer. The most creative, like with all of the gold pieces. Kind of have that like decadence because it was like gold and like plated and all of this stuff. But it does feel like very futuristic in a sense. I don't know. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's like the one that I'm actually excited to see. I'm going to say way more silver jewelry. I love all of this stuff. I definitely feel like we saw way more silver this past year. Before it was like just gold, like clean girl makeup aesthetic. Like that's very much me. But it's because my skin tone goes better with gold. I've always been a gold bitch since I was three months old. You know, Latinas get their ears pierced when they're out the womb. Base age. 2.0 baby. I had mentioned this on my TikTok of my trend predictions for 2021. So yeah, you see, I mean, I really, I feel like I'm gonna sound like an ass right now, but like, I feel like when I do my predictions, they're always like a few years, not a few, like two years ahead. So like I was talking about this in 2021, like as my prediction for 2021, but it actually popped off in 2022. So a lot of these trends, I feel like, if we didn't see them, they're already trickling for 2023. I mean, it, the 2023 winter, like fall winter shows are showing right now. So I can kind of see like, oh yeah, like the ballet core and like more of this kind of like decadence is like, I'm seeing it now. But again, these trends span over the course of like two, three years if they're important. And I do like to talk about more of the important kind of more long lasting trends, not like micro trends, I guess. Sparkle, shine. <laughs> I freaking love it. I feel like I was definitely right here. We saw a lot of the chain mail. I feel like I saw it especially for like New Year's. The micro mini was probably the biggest look of 2022. It's all of the glittery bags. I think the Cold Gaia one, the Prada one, Pock over Bond. Um, a lot of people did want like the Courage. Like then these were like designers that were really looked at in the space age. So I definitely think I got this one like super right. What I saw as like the top trends of 2022, the micro mini, obviously the Miu Miu. That Miu Miu uniform outfit. And I actually did a DIY for it. I want to say in like 2021 when the runway show first came out. And like literally as soon as like the spring magazines hit, that was just like covered in that Miu Miu outfit. So I had mentioned the bubble hem skirts. I don't think bubble hems were super, super popular, but I mean, kind of. I remember for holiday, I saw a lot of bubble hems. I got Zara. So yeah, I would say I got this right. A lot of reflective material. Yeah, definitely. We saw a ton of shine, a lot of reflective. So also the volume, I feel like, was a big trend for 2022. We really saw the death of the skinny jean in 2022 which apparently is back now for 2023 <laughs> it's just like fashion right now it's just like i think we should all dive into our personal style but i will again save it for the other video so we went from really tight shapes and everything to a really voluminous shape so even like it doesn't have to be so bulbous as i'm talking about like i was being more specific with like volume like puffers and all of that but it can also be just like volume in the sense of like an oversized blazer oversized trousers i feel like so many people owned a pair of trousers in 2022 like they're replacing jeans with trousers but we are seeing them in these baggy styles so i would say even playing with volume there is kind of so what i was talking about ballet all day i feel like we did see it trickle and at the end of 2022 the leg warmers the ballet flats the ballet pumps we saw a little bit of in 2022 but i feel like 2023 is really like the ballet year we saw the boleros a little bit in 2022 but i feel like it's gonna be really strong this year and the ballerina's wardrobe is 
Yeah, I love a dancer's wardrobe. The Miu Miu Ballet Flat has been making its round. The Tabby Ballet Flat has been making its round by Margiela. I think this was, I got it right, and it's only gonna get stronger. Like the ballet shrug. Actually, I thrifted one. Remember from like my spiciest thrift yeah. videos? There's so many active wear brands too, like Aloe Yoga. We're gonna be seeing a lot of leg warmers. I think I saw like Bella Hadid and obviously she's like a major influence on fashion. Everybody wants to cop her style. Leg warmers, yes. So micro mini. Oh, I have the Prada or the Miu Miu. It's apparel skater dress is gonna make a comeback. So I think I got that wrong. But I will say that a lot of the aloe dresses, like the tennis dresses, really popped off. I know Abercrombie was selling some. Um, Amazon. I feel like the little mini like sporty kind of dress was in, but not quite the silhouette. Maybe we'll see it in 2023. Ballerina wrap tops in different materials. Yeah, these little wrap tops for sure popped off. So I'm gonna say I got that right. I have tights, think leg wear. More pattern tights basically is what I'm saying. Okay, as far as the tights go, I think we're more like bare-legged than anything. So I'm gonna say I got that wrong. Oh my god, I'm getting a lot wrong. <laughs> ruffled mini skirts. Ruffled skirts for sure, I'm gonna say I got right. We saw ruffles freaking everywhere. In skirts, long maxis, minis, we so saw them everywhere. I like, think like ties are gonna come back. I mean, yeah. Avril Lavigne, of course. Like that. I think like really skinny ties and skinny scarves are like making their way back, especially like even skinny scarves like, with dresses. But, yeah, I feel like this was pretty much spot on. We saw a lot of grunge, even the rise of like, kind of like this more gothic culture with Wednesday. I love that movie, or that series on Netflix. Like the fingerless gloves, as much as people hated Emily in Paris for those fingerless gloves, I really do see them becoming more of a trend. I saw them more with um, active wear, but not necessarily like as a full accessory like Emily in Paris. So in this trend, I'm gonna say like the plaid oh, that skirt. Expect that reference, that skirt specifically, I feel like was everywhere too. Like as far as in the fashion world goes, it was like one of the top and looks skirt. of 2022. Pleats, please. I know, I get really cheesy with these. And apparently so is Vogue. Check out the title of this article, Vogue, you watching my videos? Money aesthetic. So obviously preppy, pleats, get it? But Think old money vibes. Waspy, country club, yeah. yacht club. I feel like this was definitely one of the biggest trends that I got right. Like I feel like this and space age were probably the two trends that I got the most right. I mean, also like complete chaos, but it was like Y2K, duh. Everybody knows Y2K is back. Please, please, totally. I mean, it's like very like that Miu Miu look is super waspy to me. Very traditional with like those natural fibers like wool and tweed, like definitely we saw a lot of that. I feel like even the oversized silhouette that I was talking about is totally in this realm. Just think a waspy dude, like blazer, <laughs> trousers, crisp shirts, a lot of the ties and like rugby shirts and letterman jackets, like all of this I feel like I totally got right. And then even down to the shoes, I feel like the most coveted shoe, I would say, of 2022. Besides the Birkenstocks, the Samba, and the Platform Uggs, I feel like the other most coveted shoe was the loafer. So even like the Prada loafer and any dupe that looks like that, right? And also the trench coats. I, I called out trench coats in this. I'm like looking at the slide already because I talk way too damn much and we're gonna wrap up this video. But trench coats, I feel like, was also one of the biggest um, outerwear pieces this past year and I feel like we're gonna continue. I mean, it's a classic item obviously and it always like makes its way back in in a bigger way. It's like one of those pieces that are always gonna be around so it's a good um, item to invest in or to buy without totally giving into the trends but even if you were to buy it right now when it's trendy, it's something that you're gonna be able to use for years to come, which I love. And also tailored vest, I feel like we're one of the biggest trends of 2022. Like. And there, we're gonna continue to see them, like little vests. I mean, I am here for it. You can thrift a lot of them too. Like just go to the thrift stores. I'm actually gonna be heading to LA very soon and I'm really excited. I hope I have time to stop into a thrift store because there's just nothing like a good old California thrift session. Yeah, it's so this vibe. I feel like 2022 was so, so, so this vibe, this whole mood board that I put together. I mean, I actually did get a lot of things wrong this year. Or maybe I just like wasn't that in tune with fashion because like I said, I have beef with fashion right now. Fully disconnected, I feel like, this past year. So you let me know in the comments 
what you think were the major, major trends of 2022. I'd love to start a discussion and see what you guys saw versus what I felt like was the strongest. I love, you know, I still love to talk about fashion. Don't get me wrong. I can still talk your ear off. Like look at how long this video is. <laughs> so thank you so much for staying tuned and I look forward to sharing more fashion videos with you. Ciao.